He's a man's man, is Dallas. He's, he's <laughs> I'm telling you. Maybe the old spice, I don't know. <laughs> Imagine uh, what is going on. <laughs> <laughs> this is the official Leeds United podcast. Will you be fit again by Saturday? Yeah, I reckon so. It depends what kind of training we've got from now to then. <laughs> you actually, just for anyone who's not watching on the on YouTube, on the YouTube, God, what a granddad. Oh, wow. Um, on, the old, on the old YouTubes, um, you look shattered, mate. So you look really oh, <laughs> Do you know what's worse as well? When we kick off at night, I can't sleep after. I don't know if you no, had it, Bex, right. but if yeah. it's a night What game, time did you get to bed? Went to bed at like half 11, but I won't, wouldn't have fallen asleep till about two. Yeah, like, I just can't sleep. It's, it's weird after a night game. Same with me. It's the adrenaline or what? It, you see, when, when we used to I do found. a play, you have the same thing. But we'd go to a pub and have a pint, and that'd like sort of chill us out. But I guess you, you guys, you lads can't do that. Can't really do that. No, no, no especially that. now. I, I had that as well. <laughs> yeah, especially now. <laughs> I had that as well. The adrenaline kicks in, and you, you just can't shut everything off. You can't relax. You can't. Ah, oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. I found myself watching a movie and then reading three or four chapters of a book and it was the book that kind of helped me to unwind a little bit more that's that yeah. might be something that might work for you Give is it crack. better if there you, you win or lose or mm. both the same i fall asleep quicker if if we've had a bad game because i just want to go to sleep but if right. we've had a good game it's like you're kind of still pumped do you yeah, you're wired. In your head when you're in bed uh, right? you're thinking of all good bits <laughs> Do you know what? I actually replay the bits that I could have done better. So uh, if I should have scored a goal, I'm thinking about that. So. Matt, do you do that when you've played? Do you sit there in bed after you've had your game and think about... <laughs> yeah, I just, I just annoy my wife going through. Did you see that bit where the ball came across? And I just, I just put all, everything into it. She just goes, yeah, she's sick of listening to it. All leads, aren't we? The official Leeds United podcast. Right then, lads, before we get stuck into this, Jermaine, are you with us? You've not got a, a text to reply to or anything like you did last I'm, night. I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Full <laughs> focus today. Do you know what? I thought I thought it was a rehearsal. Um, and when Kelly was talking, I was thinking to myself, oh, yeah, she's great. She's doing really well. No mistakes. And then Graham soon I started talking as well. And I was like, this is a bit odd. Graham never normally <laughs> talks in a, in a rehearsal. And then like that, that kind of just made me wake up and realise, oh, sugar, I'll tell you what, we're live. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it yet, Pat. I don't know. I don't even know what you're on about. I was, uh, so we we came, I was covering the game for Sky and we came, we were on an ad break. So during the ad break, I've got my iPad in front of me and I'm just scrolling through a couple of the facts and um, looking at the stats of the game, etc., etc. And nobody said in my earpiece, we're live in five seconds, four three so they just start talking and I, I just think it's a rehearsal like i said and lo and behold it wasn't <laughs> so you're so you're claiming you were doing so, genuine research you weren't just like on facebook i'm not i'm not claiming i was checking my fantasy football team i mean i was yeah, doing right. research <laughs> <laughs> Um, for anyone who hasn't seen it, Jermaine's face when he realises he's live is a picture. <laughs> it's a oh, meme in mate. itself. I couldn't believe it. Is... it. I, I'll recreate it now. I'm checking down. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. That is, that much is it. it. That is it. Listening on together. Uh, Pat, I do want to ask, what was it about um, Southampton that, um, that changed at halftime? Because we had a, um, we had plenty of chance in the first half as well. I mean, we could have scored, and and um, but but the second half was was really we we went up several gears. What what exactly do you think it was? I think that the the manager at halftime he said that we need to stop giving the ball away or try and not lose the ball. If we're going to lose it, don't lose it in our own half because mm. obviously that's going to create more problems. Um, so as as a group of lads, we actually said it might be worth sometimes just getting the ball in their half as quick as possible and then playing from there. And I think we upped the tempo and I actually think looking back at it, Costa coming on made a massive difference. I think Huge. last two games, he's mm. been brilliant. And um, he kind of gave us that little bit of extra pace. on. So we had pace on both sides of the, the wings. And um, I think that it, he didn't get spoken much about because obviously Rafinha got all the plaudits from the, the pundits and stuff. But I think Costa made a massive difference to us in the second half. All Leeds, aren't we? The official Leeds United podcast. We used to love 
away games. Like my favorite were away games. I I I enjoyed playing home games. Don't get me wrong, so so much because walking through the 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 tunnel at Ellen Road and coming out onto the field and listening to all the fans and everything going nuts. I loved it. That was my favourite ever um, footballing moment. But away games, the preparation for it, when you're on the team coach and you've got players that are trying to sleep and get their rest. If you're travelling all the way down to uh, Southampton, for example, and the players have got their their sunglasses on or um, big earphones on and they're just, they're just zonked, they're conked out. We used to like hold their noses so they they couldn't breathe and then you know like they'd have a bottle of water <laughs> they'd have a bottle of water obviously let go in like a couple of seconds they're, they're fine they're fine they had a bottle of water and we'll undo the top and pour like half a bottle of half a um container of salt in the water and then pop the lid back on shake it up yeah, we, we'd have a little bit of fun with them put a lot of vaseline in their trainers when they you know when they wow. take the shoes off on the bus uh, we get we get to the hotels as well, and my favourite one. I don't know if you lot still do this now, Pat. Fill up the uh, underneath the desk. There's usually like a Fill bucket. The, the, uh, bin, the bins. Bin <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you still do it. Still do it. Fill it up halfway <laughs> with water. Lean it against the door, the the outside of the door. Knock on the door so that the players, whoever it is, comes to the door and and opens the door. As soon as they open the door, the bucket just tips full of water all over the trainers all over the carpet socks everything <laughs> it's, it's brilliant like I, I it, it was brilliant it was brilliant and then going down to have something to eat as well if somebody whenever somebody gets up and goes to the um, to, to get their food and bring it back to the table we used to wet the back of the forks and just dunk it in salt salt in the tea cups like ah oh, it oh. I used to love it. It was entertaining. It was fun. It was enjoyable. It was, it, listen, it happened to me a load of times, but I, I was also a little bit of an instigator as well. I had fun. We always have fun. Sounds Deep heat. <laughs> yeah, keeps you on your toes, lad. Keeps you on your toes. <laughs> but it's all, it's all fun and games. It's like, it's almost like an initiation, but a weekly occurrence. On repeat. And it, it was just fun. Yeah, yeah. It was brilliant. And, but like, it got to a point where the, the, the pranks started to escalate a little bit more like the the laces for certain players trainers would get snipped a little bit um on a friday session um for home games i remember somebody came in in a rascal tracksuit i can't remember who it was and um one of the other boys decided right i need to go and put my shin pads on so everybody's just come out he's run inside put the rascal tracksuit over his uh, training gear sprinted outside in, in the, the tracksuit and decided to do an unbelievably long slide tackle through mud. Ruin the tracksuit. Everybody thought it was yeah. hilarious apart from <laughs> apart from the player who uh, the tracksuit belonged to. So yeah, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that sort of thing. I enjoyed that, that. And that helps you prepare for games, does it? I was it did, yeah, say. very much so. <laughs> Listening on together. Do, did you and do you, Pat, um, do you have any superstitions that you do um, before games? Not superstitions as such that if I don't do them, I'll start freaking out and think, oh, crap, I haven't done this, I haven't done that. Um, mm. I always, for some reason, I always just tend to put my left boot on first. But it's the same with trainers, left boot, right, then right boot. Um, one thing I do do, which some people think is a little bit weird, is I spray my shirt with aftershave before I go out. <laughs> wow. Who, who are you trying to impress? You never know, mate. That's a bit weird. You never know. I don't know why. That actually might be, it might be a superstition, but I don't, I don't do it for like, I change shirts half time and don't do it in the second half. When Andre Mariner's like, playing hard to get and you're yeah. like, hey, <laughs> sir, sir. Come here, sir. Huh? Hey, yeah, mister, yeah, mister. <laughs> mister. <laughs> that is class. Do you, um, why, when, when, you when did you start time? doing that? I think I did it once, probably back when I was at Palace or just before the team, maybe the middle spread just before I joined Palace. So five, five years ago. What, what years scent ago. is it? What, 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 yeah, I was going to say, what aftershave are we talking, Pat? Are we talking um, cheap, 
stuff like Zara or are we talking like <laughs> we're, going, we're pushing a boat out and going like nah. the big dog Paco Pre- Rabanne nah, <laughs> oh, steady on do you know what it's uh, some creed it's Hermes but it's a Christmas present so Ooh. I just leave that one in my wash bag Ooh. that's the one that the big dog. On the maybe you don't need extra hundred pound a week if you buy a nice stuff. maybe you're doing just I, fine there's my good agent again <laughs> Wowza. <laughs> and um, is that not a bit of a waste though, Pat? If no one's sniffing you, I don't know. I, just, I, I actually don't know why why I do it, but um, it's just it smell nice when I'm like, going out. You wasted solid aftershave there. But yeah, I don't do spray you know what? Loads. It I don't spray loads. It's just like a little bit on the the front. Do um, do any of the other lads do anything? Do they have any superstitions or anything that they wear or do beforehand? To be fair, Stewie Dallas actually does the same. He he sprays a little bit on his shirt. Um, of your Jack stuff Har- or his own? No, his own. His own. <laughs> he can't be giving that out for free. Yeah, he's not <laughs> sharing that, is he? I just didn't know if you were like, Stewie, there you go, you're ready. <laughs> one for you, one for me, pal. Yeah. No, you, can't, you can't go out smelling the same. You can't be doing that. He's got his own stuff. <laughs> There's... What does he use? Is he yeah. on the Creed? Do you know, is he I, on the, the Creed? Sure you know? I don't know no, what he uses. I don't know what he uses. He's on the Brute. I can tell. He just got that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. On a Ralph Lauren green bottle with a gold lid. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's a man's man, is Dallas. He's, he's <laughs> Maybe the Old Spice. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine uh, what is going on. <laughs> <laughs> this is the official Leeds United podcast. 